This video will cover how the QB slash MP8000 series radios perform in a line of sight, near line of sight, and non line of sight scenarios. Each link will be optimized for maximum performance and throughput measurements will be provided for comparison. In today's video we will cover three scenarios, line of sight, near line of sight, and no line of sight. As part of this process, we will use the following checklist to help in validating our deployment. We would demonstrate a short site survey, show you output of a spectrum analyzer, validate the RF statistics, and finally we will run performance against the link to qualify its actual throughput. For our first scenario, we will use a line of sight configuration that's roughly 80 meters in distance using our Proxim MP8200 5 gig radios and a 12 dB Omni antenna. Following our checklist, we start with the spectrum analyzer RF scan. This helps in identifying any interference and assists in the selection of the cleanest channel to operate in. Using the radio's wireless interface statistics, we can see we have a decent link. We're using default settings with a maximum of 20 MHz bandwidth. ATPC is enabled. Based on the spectrum scan, we're using channel 155, which gives us a maximum bandwidth of 130 megabits. Analyzing the per station statistics, we can see we can support a maximum of 52 megabit modulation. As a last item on the checklist, we conduct a performance test. This validates that we're able to get the maximum IP performance to the selected modulation. For our testing, we're using KPerf, which is a throughput test tool. As you can see from the results, we are netting 44 megabits from a 52 megabit modulation, giving us expected results. In our next configuration, we are demonstrating a non-line of sight scenario using a tree as an obstruction. The distance of this link is 94 meters with the tree obstruction within one meter of the radio. Using per station statistics, we can also see that the signal is significantly reduced, which directly affects our maximum modulation. In this case, we can see the radio is selecting 26 megabits. Next, we conduct a performance test. As you can see here with our KPerf test tool, we're achieving 21 megabits throughput. If higher throughput is expected, the following considerations should be made. Move subscriber to a better location. Attempt to raise the antenna higher, further avoiding the trunk and moving to a lighter area foliage, and or changing the antenna type, increasing the gain and chances for a higher signal level. In our final scenario, we are demonstrating a non-line of sight configuration, using a building to bounce our signal. As part of our test, we're not able to link the subscriber to the base station using a direct non-line of sight configuration. This required us to point the subscriber at an opposite building to attempt to use the reflection of the building to connect to the base station. In our attempts to connect to the base station, we found when pointing directly at the tree, we were able to make an RF connection but not able to pass any traffic, as the RF scatter and absorption in the tree caused too high of a signal degrade for good data operation. When adjusting the subscriber to one degree to the right, we're able to use the building bounce effectively and pass the maximum throughput possible, avoiding the direct path into the tree. Finally, we conduct a performance test and we can see using the building as a reflection point, we're able to achieve greater than 37 megabits per second. We demonstrated radio operation in near and non-line of sight conditions, overcoming building obstructions and leveraging building bounces. Keep in mind, each environment is unique and may require additional considerations. Thank you for your time. For more Proxim Support TV videos and access to our various support offerings, please visit support.proxim.com. If technical support is required, please call us at 1-866-674-6626 or open a ticket with us.